Hey guys, Robin here with Oracle Rising. Thanks for joining me today. So I wanted to talk about the full moon coming up and this is gonna be happening on May 7th. So this is called the full flower moon. So things happen specifically around these times, like um, full moons, they do represent something particular happening in the world and they're given that name for a reason, right? So we have a full flower moon coming up and I wanted to talk about, I have five things that are really easily within your grasp or could potentially happen during this time. So the full moon is when it's really bright in the sky, just in case you guys didn't know. So, okay, so this is going to be the perfect time to manifest. So if you're really focusing on wealth, health and abundance, and maybe you've sort of, I don't know, slacked off or you've given up or whatever. This is the great time to pick up whatever rituals or habits you have towards manifesting. So when I say stuff like that, like I mean, are you writing down your manifestation journal? Are you using your law of attraction affirmations? Are you doing your meditations? Are you doing everything? to really keep your vibration high, you know, um, things like laughter and music and just being kind and gentle. These are really high vibrational um, energies. Love is the highest vibration. So you kind of want to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Um, if you're doing things like being like angry and jealous and upset and you know, if, if you're going to be in those mindsets, your, your, your potential to manifest probably isn't going to be super high. So, um, and you know what? I mean, those things manifest too. I'm not saying that they, they won't manifest. You're going to manifest that stuff instead. You know, the universe sort of meets you on the level of the energy that you're putting out into it. So really decide what you want to manifest into your life and if it is abundant wealth if it is abundant health um you know if it is an abundant love life really focus on those things and what can you do to increase your vibration and look into stuff like that you know there's binaural beats that can be listened to there's subliminals there's all kinds of things to help you with your law of attraction and pulling into your life the things that you really want to be there. So I think that's a great start and I love that about this um, full flower moon. Um, this is a powerful peak of divine femininity. Okay, so everybody has feminine aspects. <laughs> Boy, yeah, sorry. So welcome to my real life where I'm the biggest klutz in the world. So divine femininity, it's sort of, you know, the softer way of approaching a situation. You know, um, I just really think of Southern Bells when I think of divine femininity, you know, how they, they, they use their allure to get things done for them. And, you know, it just, it's such a clever way of doing things without having to use your brute strength. And divine femininity, of course, is more than that. It is your softer, nourishing um, side. And there's so many aspects to divine feminine. Please look it up if you wanted to know a little bit more. But this is when it's rising, you know, and you probably have a chance to use the softer side of your heart and soul going forward. Um, and to understand that you don't have to be loud or physically aggressive to accomplish things in the world you know if you look at a stream of water that has sort of been making its way unassumingly through a path year on year on year it, it's going to make a fantastic effect on the background on the on the scenery uh, the landscape was the word i was looking for around it you know, and it does it very softly and very gently and very persistently. So um, really, like if you're, if you're interested to know more about divine femininity, please look it up on whatever 
um, is available to you for learning but understand like and I I really try to embody that in my the things that like my day-to-day -day, um, interactions if if I feel like I'm not going to be able to use a soft spoken sort of very gentle demeanor I exit a situation so this is where it can be very powerful and you could really connect to that and understand how to use divine femininity um, to your greatest advantage and it will also make you feel better so let's see the third point I have here this is an optimum time to charge your crystals and your stones so and I think for some people you might want to put your tarot card decks out in the full moon because the full moon is so intensely strong and powerful and this is how we um, recharge ourselves um, so you might want to do also for yourself put yourself out in the moonlight go do a meditation in the moonlight you know or just go sit outside and enjoy that and it's so beautiful so stick your stones and your crystals and your tarot cards and any other magical instruments that you might have if you're if your altar is portable you might want to go put that there um, yeah great time for um, you know sort of romantic interludes outside under the moon or just let the moon come streaming in through the curtains just a beautiful time to to recharge and take advantage of how powerful the flower full moon is try saying that six times fast okay so this one's really interesting I, I do a lot of research so I can do these videos for you guys so this says to shine a bright light on the skeleton cupboard and unpleasant memories so you can purge and transmute them I think it's pretty incredible the the amount of effort that we put into hiding things about ourselves that we're not necessarily super proud of um, because basically we're afraid of other people's opinions and what they might think of where we where we've been what we've done who we've done um, but the fact of the matter is that like nobody well I mean there might be but probably nobody in the world is gonna judge you harsher than you will and having to hide things from people it's no way to live your life you know and if you're going to carry a burden on top of a burden which is hiding a secret and it's just it's almost a emotionally crippling place to be in so um, this would be a great time for you to understand that nobody is allowed to judge you and if they want to judge you they can just probably you know get lost or learn how to deal with it and if you're in a relationship with somebody and you think that well they're not going to be able to handle my past um, <clears throat> maybe you're under underestimating that person you know um, and maybe you're not allowing the truth to come out and giving that person the chance the opportunity to love you the way that you need to be loved you know I think that like everybody everybody has a sad story and some people have harder lives than others and I think it's just really awful that people think that they have to hide the things that they've been through for fear of being like mocked or demonized or shamed for the things that they've done um, you know I've, I've ha also I've had a very challenging and difficult life and like my family just shamed me and shamed me and shamed me and I just felt like oh screw all of you guys I'm so done with this nobody even knew what was going on I nobody offered to help me and I was just so angry um, that they didn't help me on top of everything that I went through um, and then I wrote a book about it and it's out there and I don't care who reads it anymore and I don't care who wants to call me out or shame me anymore because it's something that I went through and for every single step that I made along the way I sit here now um, a completely different evolved person uh, with a past that I wouldn't have been here without it so you know you have to kind of look at things that way you guys 
And again, just don't let people shame or demonize you. That's got more to do with them than it does with you. So if people aren't willing to accept the your life cycle, then they can, you know, and like insert some sort of F word there. So this is a good time to work magic in your life also. I think it's always a good time to work magic in your life. And your magic is the way that you talk. You know, it's the way that you think. It's the way that you believe you can do things, you know, um, like witchcraft and magic, it's all basically speaking things into existence, right? And if you're using a ritual uh, centered around witchcraft, like it's not just not any different than like any like church ceremony that I've been to. Like if you were going to a different type of church and see what people did, you would think, well, that's weird. So, and people get really afraid of witchcraft and magic because it's coined in different ways. And this is where I'm seeing that people that practice magic, um, like I'm not a witch, but you know, I know lots of people that are, and they're lovely people, um, you know, and they follow that path, but I do believe in magic. Oh, I'm going to have this horrible song in my head now. And as I was pulling, um, as I was reading this, I just was really guided to pull a card from the Witch's Tarot here for you guys. And I do an entire full moon spread on my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. I do full moon and new moon readings, but um, I'm just being guided to do this. So this is a good time to work magic into your life. Oh, this is great. I really like this card because it's the Six of Swords. So if you have been noticing sort of a lack of being able to manifest like the positive stuff in your life, everything that I was talking about here, um, you know, especially letting go of your past, I think it's really horrendous that people have to be ashamed of their past or feel like they're shamed. You know, um, that's not cool of other people to make you feel that way. So I think that once you start transmuting that pain and maybe you're in the middle of a dark night of a soul, dark night of the soul right now, you'll be able to feel a whole lot better with the six of swords and things will start really falling into place for you where, you know, the magic that you are working will start to happen and pay off for you and you'll feel a whole lot lighter. The six of swords is like going towards a distant shore. It's beckoning you to sort of clear up your life and throw things away and not care about like skeletons rattling in the cupboard because every single person out here has one am i right like I, if somebody says oh yeah nothing you know that's like i'm like come on you know especially if you grew up in the 80s hello so anyway guys i think this is a really cool uh video for you guys if i do say so myself and just wanted to wish you guys uh love and many blessings and uh namaste take care bye